Hawaii is easily one of the most breathtaking places I've ever been. It's mountains, picturesque. It's like everything you see in the movies, in pictures. But then you look down at when you're at the beach and it's just like confetti in the sand. There's little pieces everywhere. And as soon as you notice one or two, you start noticing 50, 100. Then you can't even walk one foot without needing to stop and pick some up. It's little tiny pieces of plastic to large ghost nets, big buoys, random things that we don't even know what they are, most likely from the commercial fishing industry. I'm Monica McLennigan. I'm the communications manager with Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii, and we have a mission to inspire local communities to care for their coastlines. So we started off doing beach cleanups uh, back in 2011. So this is our 10 year anniversary here in 2021, but we encourage people that are visiting to come to a beach cleanup because it is a new lens that you get to see through and a very different way to travel. The way that we handle our cleanups is if there's big debris, we have people collecting big debris, but if it's all just microplastic, we'll break out all of the sand sifters. Um, occasionally we'll have our volunteer Kenji bring the mega sifter with him, which is an awesome invention that he made during a sand sifter building contest a couple years back that he obviously won. Um, and that just allows us to remove even more. The microplastic situation is extreme and you don't really realize how extreme it is even if you're just walking on the beach and you don't really see a ton. As soon as you start sifting, it'll be something that you just continue to uncover more and more. And then when you do find a beach that has like it's totally littered with plastic, it's um, and smaller pieces of plastic, it's impossible to clean up. There's too much and the more you keep putting in the sand sifter, the more you keep finding. Anyone can make a sand sifter, a personal sand sifter on their own. Um, we use a 1 8 inch mesh. So it's just wire mesh that you can buy at the store um, and you can use it with that and then just put duct tape around the edges. You just cut off as big of a piece as you want and put duct tape around the edges. Um, we have had people use zip ties and PVC pipes to put together one. And then our partners, um, Albizia Project, they have made us these beautiful new wooden sifters made with invasive species. And theirs are a little bit more in depth with their creation process. Uh, but if you're looking to make a wooden one, you can just get a couple wood pallets and just staple gun it together. So there's there's definitely ways. And you can also just go to um, a local home goods store or a thrift shop and find a fine mesh strainer and just get like a little handheld one and that works fine too. So personally, when I go travel, it's always, what can I give back? Because it offers a more meaningful way to travel and it makes your experience that much better because you know you're making an impact. It's just something that's a little bit more special than just coming and taking. Instead, you're coming and giving back to the place that you're visiting.